What an atmosphere here in Lubbock. The final regular season Saturday in the Big 12 and a lot still on the line for what would right now be the number one overall seed according to Joe Lenardi in the NCAA tournament. That of course is Kansas taking on Texas Tech. They do that very effectively Texas Tech. I think they're gonna make at least nine the win here today. Devon Dotson with a strong drive to get Kansas on the board. I asked him before the game if there's a better defensive player as Ramsey lines up the three. That oh, falls through. What a bounce oh, for Tobias means, Ramsey. That means some good things, baby. Oh, he's got a mismatch inside. Throw the lob up to him. Throw the lob up to him. Oh, Abaji wow. instead from the corner. Yes. Moretti rebounds the miss. Little flip pass back to Ramsey for three. How about the pass from TJ Holyfield? Christian Brown in the game for the first time for KU as he replaces Abaji. He can shoot the three. Azabuki right underneath the basket. <laughs> Flying by our players for Texas Tech as Doak hangs from the rim. Chris Beard spends the majority of that last time out talking about his team's yeah. <laughs> just makes the three. Here comes Jamias Ramsey. They hit ahead. TJ. Shannon throws it down. Down in Durham, North Carolina, where there's two schools in the boat. What's their names? What's those two schools down there? NC State and Wake. <laughs> Step back by Edwards as well. Carolina, baby, and two. Oh, they're, they're playing at XA. They got some great recruits coming in. Azabuki catches it down low and lays it in. Texas Tech. Dotson sets up Moss for three. That's good. Azabuki at Holyfield. Four Red Raiders are all over him, and Dotson makes them pay by hitting the kickout three. It's a big game for him. Down from the corner, drives the baseline. Plus the foul. They Chance wanted... for a three-point play for Christian Brown. Watch man, he's looking to dance, baby. Holyfield tries again. This time he's got it. We DJ are to 37. Chiwa leans in. Oh. Plus the foul. Big time play, baby. They get more PT player time. Chiwa. 11 or better in 15 consecutive games and 29 games this year in double figures. Here's McCullough. Yes, for three. A one-point game with 6.45 to go. And instead of going to the goal, stopped right in the lane. Tyler Edwards sets up Holyfield. Bangs a triple. Ties it up. Two minutes to go. He cut him off really nice job defensively. Abaji gets to the goal, misses the layup. Hands oh. up Buki on the offensive glass. That's a big time play right there. He's got his 15th double-double. And now a takeaway by Kansas. Christian oh. Brown glides in with a finger roll. Nice and it's a two-bucket lead for KU. Every time they catch him, they get close by one. He comes with the big, big play. Clark to Moretti. And now McCullough. And throws it down. How good is he looking? How good is he looking? Dotson again picks up his dribble. Abaji bails him out five to shoot. Here's Garrett with the right hand off the window to make it a four-point lead. Kansas is 30 and one. Well, he's got 15 now. Well, let me ask you, Robert. I know you follow Mr. Lou Hardy religiously. He no, connects from the down. corner with 11 seconds to go, so it's a three-point game. I don't think there's any doubt. Do you? To me, that's a foul that's got to be called. Yeah, and I do Kansas. Too. He is able too. to escape with a four-point win, and they will head to the Big 12 championship in Kansas City as the outright regular season champions.